actually um, I came to learn about this event because of my friend here. Um, he knows that uh, I look at I look up to Sam. Um, and considering that I've seen him grow the company, and and now you can say we have our own Zuckerberg. I think. Well, that's how I think about it. Uh, we have somebody we can look up to who built a company from scratch in Kenya, and it has scaled to. He said 11, but I think the last time I checked it was 17 countries. So I, I, I found out from him. He sent me the, the, the invite, and, and I signed up. Yeah. Yes, um, I, I think for me, um, and and it's not just from this session. He just stresses from this session. Uh, uh, from from also a video I've watched from of him doing a presentation on Scala, uh, he was talking about like using very minimal resources to 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 uh, okay using resources more efficiently and scaling. So I would say uh, what, what I got from him is maybe how I normally write code. I normally focus on on just getting it to work and not really thinking about if we have a thousand people using this system tomorrow we'll, we didn't be able to handle that traffic and and i think that's what i took from him like just trying to think about the language more and how you think about the code every line uh why you would have an extra variable as you were saying uh, or, or 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 why you would call it a variable or a constant just having every line and having minimal minimalization of what of the code uh and, and ensuring that you have that running and and, and able to help uh, able to um, handle so many requests and that is what he was saying actually he said um, he said there is a line they wrote about sending message and it was send, message. send message actually and I've actually used that before and and it's so simple you just plug in and, and it's plug and play and you're good to go so that is what I can I say I've I can say I've, I've taken from today's session um, so I would just like to say thank you for organizing this session and helping to build a community and also helping developers in, in this ecosystem to, you know, have some, some, someone to look up to, I would say, and, uh, and trying to build more engineers, as he said, as he was talking about the, the code, some specifically, I could see just how deep he has gone. And if we have more engineers than what he was saying, if, if we have a, a thousand of Scala engineers with his level, we'd be a first world country. And uh, I'll just like to say thank you for organizing this session and I hope this continues and you have more and more of these sessions in the future. Brittany Nzula Mutunga. I am a software developer and um, I really loved uh, coming to this event and I've learned and gained a lot. I, I think uh, from what I've learned is that <coughs> Scala is one of the best uh, languages to use while coding and I think I had already started with Python but from today's uh, uh, lecture I think I'll go to Scala and um, continue with Scala. I would like to tell the rest of the ladies out there that uh, they should uh, come come out and um, be brave and um, join the community in tech because it's a nice experience. Um, it will help them grow, especially such events when they come up. Yeah. Uh, what I'll take home is that uh, it's a competitive world out here and I can see that most of the people are really um, trying their best to come up with uh, new software, new, new developments and um, I think that I'll have to join them and develop more and learn more. Uh, hello, uh, my name is George Kairuki. I'm a software developer and uh, I've come for the Africa Stocking uh, uh, Build Scalable Apps with Scala and the event was fantastic. And so for the event, I think I've learned a few things. Uh, I think um, uh, things that include uh, how to develop software, how to create uh, a scalable software, uh, how to be in the state of mind of creating a software that is scalable yeah, and replicatable, as I think that's the most important thing. And also be lazy. Yeah? Don't repeat yourself while coding yeah. and a, a, a lot of other things. Yeah. After the event, 
uh, we had a networking session. I think I've met uh, people who are experts in different fields that I'm not in. Uh, so it was very interesting uh, to see their perspective on how uh, they go around uh, in their daily tasks in the work environments. And I think it was a learning opportunity uh, for me to get to know how people work outside uh, the company I work for. If I'm, if I'm to come again, I'll not come uh, alone. I think this time I came alone. I'd come with many other friends of mine. I think it was very informative and uh, they'll really uh, enjoy and learn a lot uh, from the next event. As for the next event, I think I'd want it to be, I think this one was good. So if the quality can be maintained at that level, uh, the speakers uh, really know uh, their stuff, I think that would be really nice.